Hey guys, it's Tanner, and today I'm going to do a vlog about my slam poem performance since it's my first time ever performing something like this professionally, and I just want to bring you guys along to experience it with me, so yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm here right now and I just finished watching Ivan Coyote, who is an amazing person, give a um, speech, kind of a storytelling um, session where they talked about their like experiences and they asked questions at the end. Well, they asked if anybody had questions at the end and it was really good. And now I'm going to hear about them talk about um, trans and queer youth, so that'll be good, and I'll update you guys later. Hopefully I can get a photo <laughs> with them, and that would be great. Hey guys, so I just finished my session with Ivan, and it was great. I got to talk to them and a bunch of people about my experiences as a trans youth at school, and it was just incredible. I got some photos with them. They also asked me what my key was for, like, during, during their, like, kind of, like, um, talk so that was kind of cool um but yeah i don't know i'm just having a really really good time and i'm really looking forward to um presenting my slam poem and i hope they see it um but at the same time i'm a little nervous because they are like an author so like they know like a lot of things and like <laughs> i'm like i don't know just some boy who like likes poetry so yeah i don't know So I used the men's washroom here and I I just, I didn't even have any worries. Like going into it, I felt safe and comfortable because everybody here is really like supportive or either wants more knowledge. So nobody is going to like judge me, tell me to get out of the washroom or just something bad isn't going to happen. And so I don't know, I just, I really liked feeling welcome and I feel like that was the first time I had used the men's washroom without having a lot of anxiety or feeling really scared or just worried or whatever so I don't know I just I'm happy about that I I overall think today is, is so incredible um this is a poem I wrote called still smiling before I begin let me put this on there's a smile on my face so that must mean I am happy when I get ready for the day, clothes aren't the only thing I put on. I don't leave the house without putting on a mask. To start my day, I put a pretend smirk on my face to make it seem like I'm doing fine. A smile that is a shield that protects me. It's so thick the metal covers my pain. Even on my darkest days, it makes me seem okay. I'm still smiling after my flesh is being torn and separated by the blade clapping with my skin. It's easy to hide when the scars fade. I can hide when this is how my life is being portrayed. I'm afraid to not wear it every day. I'm still smiling when I'm accepted. Sorry. I'm still smiling when I'm not accepted in my own home. Although I'm being fed, I am hungry for love. My grandparents won't even call me their grandson. They don't see that I'm done with being misgendered every single day. I'm not being treated like the boy I am. I'm still smiling when I'm struggling to stay alive. Why is that my smile is bigger than my hope? My smile hangs higher than the rope I want to tie around my neck. I'd be a stranger to the people around me if I one day took off wouldn't be recognizable anymore, I'm not detectable, I'm not who you think I am. Can't stop smiling, can't stop smiling, I can't stop smiling. But it's what I'm used to. It's so common for me to turn that frown upside down like I was told to. Still smiling when my mother's dog body was hovering over me. Her hands hurt my face feel fear, her legs keep my empty stomach. At times, I want to take off this mask. I feel like I'm no longer in control, I become too attached to it. I don't think I can even call this my own smile anymore. This is not me that you see. What's worse than my deceiving, always creating life is the people who fall for it. There are people in my life who don't even know what I've been through, but it's understandable because I won't, I won't let them walk out in my shoes. Even after this poem is done, I still have a smile on my face, but that does not mean I am happy. Hey guys.
guys, I'm super proud of myself because I just finished performing and I was super nervous. There was about 300 people there. I've never presented a slam poem in front of that many people in my entire life. Uh, the most people I've presented in front of was about 30 people. My knees were shaking, I was tearing up, um, I got super emotional, but I kept going strong. Um, there was one point where I made a little mistake, I corrected myself and kept going. I was super proud of myself, I was worried that I was going to freeze up if I messed up, but honestly messing up didn't even phase me, I just kept going and so many people afterwards like came up to me and they were just they were just so nice to me what happened was like they gave me a standing ovation and you know people approached me and were saying thank you that was so inspiring and just it was overall just a wonderful time even though my grade 10 English teacher probably isn't watching this I just wanted to say thank you so much for this experience if it wasn't for you I wouldn't have done this today um, one of my favorite things about today was I got to see people get emotional over my poetry and my stories and just I just it's my favorite thing to do was for people to understand and to educate people about this and just for people to understand everything that I have to go through so I'm just I, I'm just I'm so proud I, I just I'm just so proud of myself Another thing that happened today was I had performers come up to me after my slam poem and tell me what a wonderful job I did and just that they were just so like surprised and shocked and they didn't even know how to kind of like top that you know because they had to go after me and they just thought my, my performance was so emotional and I can relate to that because there have been times where I'm like how, how, how am I supposed to you know how am I supposed to achieve the goal I want when people have just done it better than me, when people have just performed before me? I just, I see these expectations and I'm like, how am I supposed to get there? How am I supposed to catch people's attention? How am I supposed to bring people in and like listen? And I just, I it was just, it was overall just, it's so crazy to me what I did. And I just, Honestly, I don't want this to be the end of me performing poetry. I want this to be the beginning, and I'm looking forward to this. So I was also given this card as, as well as um, a $50 check, which I'm super thankful for. And the card says, Dear Tanner, thank you for sharing your talent with me today. And it has the people's information on it, and just, yeah. This is it for the video. Thank you guys for coming along and experiencing this day with me. I'm a skedaddle. Bye.